Howdy, y'all. This is Wally here. I'm going to talk to you all about the Eiffel Tower today. So I play primarily vanilla, and in order to unlock this in vanilla, you have to unlock or you have to zone 30,000 industrial tiles. So each one of these little tiles right here, you have to zone 30,000 of these um, as residential and get them to build into them in order to unlock the Eiffel Tower. So it, it took a while, but not too long. And I have some tips on how to get this if you want to unlock this for the for the Eiffel Tower to be unlocked permanently in your, your um, library. So the first thing I want to talk to you all about to unlock this is using a relatively flatter map. I went with Swamplands on this one just because it's relatively flat. There are some rolling hills in here, like smaller rolling hills, um, not anything too significant, but stuff that I could still build on. And you want to make sure that you have farming resources. So pick you a map that's got farming resources on it, and I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, and it has relatively flat. You can always add forestry, which we'll get to here in a minute as well. Um, but you can, you can always add those in. But those are the two primary industries that you want to use when doing this particular unique build and unlock. So the next thing that I want to talk to you all about is office buildings. You do not want to zone office buildings on this one. And as you see, even in my downtown area, there's not a single office building in here. It's all commercial and residential. And if I zoom out, you can see throughout my whole city, it is literally commercial and residential. There is zero office buildings in here because those will take away your workers from your industry areas. Another thing I want to talk to you all about is the education system. So when doing this particular unique build and unlock, don't go with your traditional, I'm going to build a university to get my people smart. No, you want to do high schools and elementary schools and stick with that for a long part of your game. That's going to be your long game so that people are more inspired to work at these industrial buildings without you having to level them up. Um, so high school, elementary schools, no colleges initially. Um, later on, you can build them. As you see, I got a little little university over here, but um, that's going to be later on. And that's going to be just to bring in more tax dollars, essentially, because, oh, wow. Okay. Um, you can use that as a buffer for money later on in, in your game. So um, those are those are three things initially that I want to talk to you all about. But let's talk about how I built this particular city in order to do it. If you wanted to replicate what kind of what I did here. So you start off with this tile here. If you've played this, you, you probably are familiar with the starting tile. I really like Swamplands. I've built several cities on it um, just because of the layout of it. It's really easy to get your mass transit into this area if you wanted to build a good downtown. So you could have mass transit come in and spoked into the city. So it's really nice. So let's talk about how I built this. So initially I started in industry over here, just basic dirty industry and then residential over here. So all this was light, light zoned um, residential and then dirty industry. Once I unlocked the forestry, I zoned this forestry and started with my continue with my residential down through here. Um, until I got blocked and then I started moving my forestry over here and built some residential over here I really like on this map how this can really be a good waterfront and typically when I build on this map I don't have any industry on this little this little peninsula right here um, except for maybe back here in the corner uh, but usually I have no industry on this this whole peninsula right here most of my industry is on the outer edges of the town with good networks going to it um i built this city about 400 hours ago in gameplay so i've had the eiffel tower for a while and i literally since i unlocked it i put it in every single one of my cities just because i had to build an entire city just to unlock it so once you get this unlocked feel free to put it in every single one of your cities like i do because it is an achievement of achievements in this game so once once I started expanding here, um, I continued to unlock this tile back here. Um, I really like to unlock this tile so it unlocks more of the peninsula for me because I really like to build my city on this peninsula. Um, so I continued expanding this way. I had 
kept moving my farming down um, as, as I was expanding. And then I eventually settled with it being right here. So I put my farming right here initially, and then I had my forestry up there. This wasn't unlocked yet, so I didn't have all this at this point. Um, just this right here. And this was all crazy. I'll get to that here in a minute. But forestry, farming, um, and then I needed to expand again. So once I unlocked a new tile, I went over and unlocked this one because I knew there was a lot of farming resources over here. So I unlocked this one. I didn't build anything up here initially on this side of the, the waterway because um, I wanted to connect this expressway. So I had this expressway connection. I had this going out here and I had this T interchange. So once I built this T interchange, I was able to take it over the river and connect it to this expressway. And that opened me up to two points in my city for connection. And you can see that here. Um, and that really helps with traffic flow. So now I got this ring right here that I can use for my traffic flow. Um, I got this idea from watching some of city planner plays and overcharge egg. I really like how they set up their cities. So as I was watching and learning from them, I started doing these types of things in my city. And if you look again, I have another one here. So there's like a ring within a ring within a ring. And it really helps with the traffic flow um, in the city. I was still learning. So I have some opportunities. I'll share those with you here in a minute. But um, none of this was built up when I expanded into this tile. I really wanted this resource right here. So I unlocked this, started building this little farming community over here. Then I started building these farms over here and got into this and started untapping this resource so that um, I could expand out quickly. It, it, like I said, this was a long time ago. So ignore my atrocious traffic jam of trains right here. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this connection. Oh my gosh, how much I've learned um, over over the last four or 500 hours of gameplay um, to prevent this from happening. I mean, I literally have cargo trains and passenger trains all connected into one. Um, at this point, I would have built like a connection from this farm to this farm over here and maybe one external connection going out. Um, same with forestry. I connected this forestry to this forestry with like one connection going out, um, and not integrated with the the train lines. But we'll, that's a whole other kit and caboodle we'll talk about later on. Um, let's get back into the Eiffel Tower thing. So, whew, ignore ignore this. Put a post-it note over this or something. Whatever you got to do to ignore it. <laughs> Wow. Um, so expanded this farm over here and um, I was going to continue to expand this way. And I was like, um, I unlocked a new tile. So um, and this tile was locked at this point. So I could only go so far. And I was like, OK, now I'm going to unlock this tile over here so I can expand this farm. So that's what I did. I unlocked this tile. And whoa, that was crazy. It spun so fast. OK, so I unlocked this tile and started expanding the farms over here. And one of the issues I had was I started getting into way too much congestion because I got these interchanges too close to each other. And as you see in here, I have a spaghetti. So this is crazy. Um, going into my traffic, it's not terrible. It's 83%. Um, and most of that traffic jam is right in here. And if I fixed a lot of this spaghetti right here, um, does anybody see the meatball? Is there meatballs in the spaghetti? Because I... I'm not seeing any, but uh, no, no meatballs. Okay, so we're just eating spaghetti over here. Um, if I fixed a lot of these issues, um, I could easily get this traffic back up to like probably 90% or 89% or something like that. Um, as you see, there's some congestion issues in this city because <laughs> I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, so ignore those things. Uh, another issue that I had in the city when it came to getting moving stuff around is my transportation. I have transportation networks in here, um, but I was still relatively new and learning how to do them. So they're they're not super great. And um, I only have like 5,600 people out of 115,000 people using the transit system. So that's not good at all. And then if you look at my cyclist, I didn't set this city up for cyclists. So... It's pretty low. It's not even 700 people riding bicycles. So um, I would definitely, if I went ahead and played this city longer, I would have to go in and, and change some things to get more people riding bikes and mass transit and stuff like that. Um, and that would help some of these traffic congestions. But 
um looking at this i i did i shouldn't have put so much farming in here um all at one time and then over here this regular industry right here is a little too much so if you're doing if you're gonna go for the eiffel tower and the vanilla version and you want to unlock it permanently don't use your regular industry because look how many workers it requires 32 workers 24 workers etc so it it gets pretty high in your worker count to where your farming and your um, forestry have quite a bit less there, there's buildings in here that just require a few people to work in them um to where these have a lot higher worker count so when i started building this i was like uh-uh nope this ain't gonna work what is going on here okay i got distracted y'all i'm sorry i have no idea what happened right there but um the the worker count for this was way too high and i was like if i continue to expand this i wanted to expand all, all of this over here dirty industry and i was like if i continue to expand this over here um not it, i'm gonna have to zone probably twice as much industry as i would if i continue to do this so this is when i really realized that stick with farming and forestry so that you can get it done faster so once I realized that, um, I switched my attention. I, I wanted to make this residential at that point just because of the traffic over here. I didn't want to add any more to it as well. So um, I switched over to this side because I had untapped networks right here that I could use. So I started tapping into these networks to um, start moving stuff around um, and started putting forestry in and on this side over here and started this way. So I started here first. And started moving. I was getting closer and closer. And I was like, oh, this is going to do it. This is going to, oh, no, nope, this didn't do it. So then I added this in. And I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. And that didn't do it. And I'm like, ah, ah, I got to add more. So then I started adding this in over here. And you can see where I finally finished it. And got that achieve, that build it, unique building unlocked. But, yeah. Whew, man. This, this got a little rough over here because um, I'm starting to get into not enough raw materials because my transportation network was terrible. So that's another tip that I want to give you guys. Make sure your transportation network is good, unlike mine um, in this particular city. Like, it's, it's too wonky. I shouldn't have built this over here. I should have put it more over in this area with independent connections from here and here into it um, so that... I didn't have as much transportation, so I didn't bottleneck this up. So there's a lot of things I learned from this city. Um, I learned not to do this, whatever this is. I have no idea, but I don't do that anymore. I don't I have a clue what happened there. Like some of these connections are like, what is going on here? <laughs> but lesson learned. Um, we, we figured it out. We don't make those mistakes no more. We we grew from it, but that's how that's how I unlocked the Eiffel Tower. Um, so that's how I, I use Swamplands to do it and to get it unlocked, just because it's flat. So my tips: flat land. You have to use not. You're gonna have to use all nine tiles to in order to build it. Like I don't see any other way around it. You don't have to have a three five hundred thousand three hundred thousand five hundred thousand population city in order to do it. Um, you could do it with obviously 115,000. Um, you do not want to build offices. You want to stick with farms and forestry so that you have, you can expand it faster because you have less workers and those than the regular industry. So use farm, farms and forestry to expand faster and get your 30,000, uh, little squares faster. And then, um, spread your industry out throughout your city. Don't clump it all up in one. I, I've, I've seen some other creators clump all their industry in one or two sections of the city, and it just creates a catastrophe when it comes to traffic. And I know some some of y'all are probably struggling with um, not enough resources or not enough buyers and stuff like that. So spread your industry out throughout your city like, like I did in this particular example so that you're not congesting yourself to, to prevent yourself from being able to move those goods around your city. And then um, the last thing, it's it's going to take you a little bit of time to build this city. It's not going to be something where you can just go in and just pop in all your zones and and pray that it, it, it gets there. It, it's going to take some time and some work to, to get it. 
as you see, I really like the chirper plazas because like, I have a plethora of them in this particular example. So <laughs> don't run into the Eiffel Tower. Um, but yeah, this is this is how I did it. And um, if you like this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that like button. Um, send me some comments. Um, one thing I do have a question for you guys on is what happened here because like i have the business park plopped but for whatever reason it is telling me that i don't have it unlocked anymore so i don't know if they changed what it takes to get the business park unlocked or what happened but um i obviously have had it unlocked but don't have it unlocked anymore so go into the comments and let me know what is going on with this and um maybe it's a glitch that that happened so that um i could get that resolved but i'm probably just gonna have to build a city to get those twenty thousand commercial zones zoned up um, in order to unlock it again but i look forward to seeing y'all next time and um look out for some lives because i'll be going live on youtube with some of my videos and stuff so i'll see y'all next time thank you for watching